Hey, welcome back once again to the Motherboards.org YouTube channel. I'm Eric Ferris, your host, here once again with Mr. ROG himself, JJ from Asus. Today, we'll be looking at their Fan Expert 2. Now, a lot of people take the fans of their system for granted. Some people just plug them in and forget about them. But if you're somebody who really cares about their airflow in their system and you want to be able to custom configure and run all of your fans from your BIOS and from your Windows environment, this is something you want to take a look at. So JJ, let's jump in and let's check out this new technology. Okay, so here we're now at our Windows desktop. We're gonna take a look at the actual Fan Expert 2 software that we covered. And uh, essentially, we've got right here, as you see, a button that says Fan Auto-Tuning. This is really one of the new key aspects of our Fan Expert 2 software. Now, while I'm working in the operating system, this is actually all occurring on a hardware level as well. It's working with our Super I.O. controller, and of course, the six fans that we have connected to the motherboard. So basically, everything that you're doing here from the Windows environment screen is being automatically changed in the BIOS in real time. That's correct, so all this information is being tracked when they operating system but being fed over to the super IO controller and making these changes so what is this actually going to do let's go ahead and click on the button all right so at this point we can see that the actual fans have all now ramped to 100 percent so these are the six fans that we have connected we have two on the cpu and the cpu optional header and then the chassis headers one through four we have the four other fans that are connected now at this time it's gone ahead and maxed them out to their max rpm value and it's incrementally slowly bringing them down to lower and lower and lower rpm values and all this data is being cataloged now the reason why this is important is that previously, while we had really, really good fan control, they were preset based. Um, we did have manual options for users that wanted to go ahead and take advantage of manually defining parameters of operation, but in terms of the preset data, it's a guess. Essentially the values of operation are somewhere between, let's say, silent 800 to 1000 RPM. That should generally be silent, but we don't actually know that that's the operating range of your fan. So does this take the guesswork out? That's correct. So as you can see, it's now effectively almost stopped all the fans from running, and it's now tracked all that data in terms of what's the maximum speed of operation and the incremental steps all the way down to the minimum level of operation. So at this point right now, what is the system doing with the Fan Expert 2? It's logging all that data, so it's calibrating everything per each, each one of these headers. And as that data is now being actually all compiled, it's feeding this in, and this will then link into the next part where we can go ahead and assign this information in terms of presets or manually controlling it. So will all these fans start to spin back up again before we get to that screen? Correct, yeah. It's gonna eventually complete the, the finished calibration cycle, and then it'll more or less give us like a balanced profile. Um, but from that point, any of the presets that we pick are actually going to be based on the calibrated data that we ran from the beginning process and, and then scaled all the way down to the minimum RPM values. And what is the real benefit to the end user with the technology like this on the motherboard? You take all the guesswork out of it because it doesn't matter what fans you buy in your system. You could have different fans, one with 2400 RPM, one with 1200 RPM, one with 1300 RPM, and we're gonna be able to tune the characteristics of cooling your system as well as the acoustics of it all in relation to that, that's specific to your setup. And it's, it's, just, it's just very easy to work with. I mean, you're not gonna have to worry about knowing which fan you know, is at ma which maximum speed or which one runs at this value or any of that guesswork. So it's automatic fan balancing as well. Yeah, yeah, and, and the really easy function too is that you're gonna get accurate based profiles. So as we'll show when we get to the next panel, uh, now that the calibration process is almost complete, um, we'll be able to go ahead and assign the actual location of each one of these fans, which is another cool part. So here we can see we actually have a little topology layout of let's say a chassis. And we can see here, of course, it's already pre-designated our CPU fans as being actual CPU fans and their position. But take for instance here, we have fan name chassis one and it's already designated this as back fan. But if we want to confirm its location, all we do is just we click search and we press start. And it's actually gonna stop all the other fans. So if you were setting up your system, I'd know, oh, that's actually that location for that fan. So what you could go ahead and do is, let's say if that was actually not the back fan and a different location, I could now click on this and I have different locations for where my fan exists in the chassis. Okay, that's, that's really interesting. So I then could go ahead and say, oh, that wasn't my back fan. That's actually my front fan. And you could go ahead and designate that. And same thing, you could go ahead and make those adjustments per each one of the headers. Where that one, that actually maybe might be connected to your back fan. So that's where you would want that. So I could go ahead and then set that as my back fan. 
Now, one thing also with this list, and you mentioned, Jay, is that you can actually custom name all the different fans in there. So if you wanted to call, you know, one fan XPC, one fan Gateway, you could just name the fans that way as well. That's correct. That's in the next portion. So what we're going to go do is, let's say we're happy with this location setup configuration. We're going to go ahead and press OK. I'm happy. Okay, well, that's great. So let's keep moving along here. At that point, we could go and uh, before we jump into the naming, we actually want to show, let's say, some of this profiling. So let's just ramp everything to take, for instance, maximum speed. It actually knows effectively what's the maximum speed of every single one of these fans. But let's feels see. good. <laughs> Hot. <laughs> but let's go ahead and take a look and see what, let's say, the silent profile would be, right? So we can go ahead and choose silent, and now it effectively knows what actual silent is. Where normally, if you've done that in the past, it's just a guesstimate. So it's going to provide some type of profile. Now, our two CPU fans are still running at their absolute baseline, but they have essentially are operating at their absolute lowest value of operation. So you now have true actual base fan control based on the data that's specific to your fans. And I think this would really work well if you had a liquid cooled base system as well, because then it, when you had your fans in there and they could go up and down inside your system, you could actually balance and, and maintain your cooling at a much tighter parameter than you could before, correct? Sure, but I mean, regardless of the configuration that you have, you're gonna have the most flexibility at defining the characteristics of how to run your fan setup. So from that, let's go ahead and actually jump into the advanced mode interface. And we see right here, um, we even have a higher level of control. We can actually set like a custom fan curve. So if you wanted to adjust at different points, you can go ahead and adjust the rotation rate as well as when it's going to change based on the temperature. And we even have these options here that are called speed up and speed down. This is actually the aggressiveness at how fast the fan will make an adjustment. So let's say if the fan is running at 300 RPM and you want it to go work all the way up to 1000 RPM, this actually controls how fast it's going to do that. And the reason why that's important is because it changes the tone of the fan. Now, what if did you want to do the opposite direction? What if you were a type of person, you wanted to start off your system with all the fans blowing high to blow out all the old air in your system, but then you wanted them to throttle back down to silent a little while later. Does this allow you to do that as well? Of course, because you have an entirely adjustable fan curve. So if you wanted to go far so as high, is, this and is then pretty much, low. J. Jeremy, and Richard, this is pretty much a linear, almost like timeline for doing your fans, correct? From, from your startup? To, to where well, it's, going through. it's not based off of time, it's based off of temperature and rotation. But if you, let's say you wanted to go ahead and assign a preset that would allow your fans to rotate at the maximum initially at a lower temperature, then maybe adjust and then come back down, that's all configurable relative to you. And once again, like I said, you can adjust the aggressiveness, which changes the tone of the fan, right? I'm sure you've heard when fans ramp up really fast, they kind of go vroom, right? And if you have it still scale up, but do it much more slowly, it's gonna be much more like a smooth swooshing sound as opposed to an aggressive kind of tone sound. Um, now, if we go to, let's say, RPM fix mode, where you were asking me about front intake fans, this is a great option. Maybe you don't want your fans to adjust. Maybe you want them to be fixed in at a locked profile. You could go ahead and, let's say, maybe select chassis fan four, right? And we could go there, and we could always have that fan run at 1200 RPM consistently, and that's real time adjusted. Hey, you see the fans start up and start spinning fast as soon as you make the move. But exactly, same thing, I want my chassis, that's my second front intake. I could go there, and same thing, I could go ahead and adjust it and have that also work at that same exact speed. And those will be down locked in and they'll only run at that fixed RPM, but yet I could still go to the other chassis fans and I could have those work under the smart mode where I have much more customization. Now, where you were asking about in terms of naming, that's also still something that you have flexibility for. So let's say I could go up here to CPU fan, maybe I, I actually wanna call it what it is. So we're using a Corsair H60 with 220 millimeter fans. We could actually just go ahead and write that as the name. And now it's actually our Corsair H60. And, and currently this technology, JJ, is only available on your new i77 platform forms, correct? Correct. Any one of our C77 SKUs that list uh, uh, Fan Expert 2, which is pretty much the majority of all the SKUs, have this. And even including, let's say, like our entry-level Dash V SKU have this advanced Fan Expert technology. And then from there, we can see here in the sensor data, it actually also now uses the new name. So now going forward, if you ever want to know the location of that fan, the speed to that, it's much more sensible than just knowing chassis fan one, chassis fan two. You actually could write the position, right? This is front fan, this is back fan, whatever it might be. So definitely in terms of fan control, I think that we're showing you that we've taken it to the next level in terms of con customization, configurability, and overall allowing you a, a very high degree of performance relative to not only the acoustics, but also the cooling. Total control of your fans. Definitely. So thanks a lot, JJ. It's really obvious that this Fan Expert 2 technology is going to add just another dimension to your motherboards and your new Z77 series of stuff. Thank you for coming by, and uh, I know we've got a lot of other stuff to discuss, so let's jump into some other stuff.